Hey, this is uh, quite a unique little airplane that you got here. Yes, it is. It's a, it's a Mitchell wing, Mitchell flying wing. Been around for 15 years or more. It was designed by Don Mitchell. I, I believe he was in, in California. Don worked with uh, Jack Northrop in the flying wing program, 1945, and a military bomber that they never really built many of. And he was uh, pretty much interested in flying wings. He designed this one and two others. This was the most successful, I think. And it's uh, it flies like a regular airplane for most purposes, except uh, it's really pitch sensitive. It doesn't have a tail back there to stabilize things. The end of the airplane is about the end of my arm. It, the prop is a is the back, and uh, it uh, it flies beautifully. At one time, about ten years ago, maybe eleven, it held I think virtually every ultralight record there was. It still holds the Worthington Cup, which is uh, Mike Bronner from Texas City flew just short of 300 miles on less than five gallons of gasoline. Uh, not too bad. It's a tough one to beat. Uh, now, I remember this originally when I first saw it, though, it was made out of wood. Right. That was the B-10. It was made of spruce and uh, Dacron, but it, uh, it weighed about the same and it acted about the same. The major differences was the stick came out of the wing itself and it was well, yeah, it was originally... got a little tiresome when you were flying it for about an hour, an hour and a half, well, I remember. It, uh, that wing was designed as a hang glider, and it revolutionized hang gliding, and later Mitchell put the engine on it to become a motor glider with the stick. And I'm not sure if the stick was there as a glider or not. It might have been weight shift back then. Yeah. You're using a little, uh, looks like, what, 28 horsepower Rotax now? Exactly. It, uh, it's more engine than it needs for most things, except... The uh, climb out angle is a little shallow with less than this. With this engine, we get about 500 foot a minute rate of climb, an honest 500 any time in the worst conditions, 110 degree heat, high pressure altitudes, it'll do 500 feet a minute, which is enough to clear almost any reasonable obstacle. Where the old Zenoa and uh, other engines, they worked and they pushed the thing along fine, except they uh, were a little tough if you had a short strip or had obstacles. They just weren't adequate. Where this will, uh, this engine is rated at 6,500 RPM, 28 horsepower, and I cruise along in the low 4,000s at uh, 55 or 60 miles an hour. So it's it's very efficient, very clean. There's no struts, no wires. It's a fully cantilevered wing. Uh, the real drag is the induced drag of the wing and this pod, and that's it. There are none of the parasite drag that almost all the other ultralights have, which I feel makes it uh, stand out in its class. Now, how's this airplane uh, coming to the customer? Now? I'm sorry? How's the airplane coming to the customer? How's it available to purchase? Oh, it's available in kit form. The kit is uh, the center wing section all made. It's aluminum bonded and wrapped over foam. And the tip sections also are in the kit. Everything's in the kit to make the airplane. And the builder has to manufacture the pod put it together. Everything's pre-cut and pre-drilled. The builder has to make the pod and he has to attach all the hardware and fittings and things. See a little like this is the rudder actuator. It hooks on to this one which is foot operated and he has to route all the different fixtures and uh, all the hinges build up the ailerons and there's counterweights. There are actually inertia weights on the ailerons to eliminate any aileron buzz. It's about a hundred hour project for a fairly skilled, probably a hundred hours for a fairly skilled craftsman, but it is not difficult. No welding, only drilling and riveting, measuring, marking, a little bit of glue on some things. They use aluminum rivets on all non-stressed areas and stainless rivets on anything that bears the lightest load. Uh, how many hours have you you've been flying this now? For how long? <laughs> Today I'll have five hours, but I've got uh, almost 8,000 hours of other time before this, including some B-10 time, the uh, uh, the stick and fabric one. I no. had, I'm sorry. Um, go ahead. Uh, I'm relatively new in this particular airplane, but not new to a flying wing. I've, I've probably got... 25 or 30 hours total in the, in the flying wing before this one, so it came came back pretty quick. It's a little tricky to fly. 
uh, it's it's hard to coordinate if you're uh, an experienced Cessna or ultralight pilot you expect to use right aileron and back it up with right rudder for coordination in this airplane it won't work in this airplane you steer with your feet and you coordinate with your ailerons pitch is like anything else except it's very sensitive but uh, it takes a little getting used to but once you're used to it you love it it's a real trip it's the most fun you can have in the daytime with your clothes on